At the end of chapter one, before you begin the fifth exercise, you'll have a layer with a series of groups in it. And you might ungroup all of your dots in order to delete some of them. Um, or you could use the direct selection tool. Now this is a little bit getting ahead of the book, uh, but I often demonstrate this in, in the classroom just to give you a little teaser of what's in front of you. So notice that when I have groups, if I use my selection tool, I can select just each group. If I wanted to select an individual circle or dot, I could potentially open a group and then select just one path by clicking over here in the selection area. Notice that this group is the bottom row. Another possibility would be to use the direct selection tool. The direct selection tool is featured in Chapter 3, and this tool allows you to select part of a path um, or part of a group. So if each row is contained in a group, I could click just once on any item of that group or any member of that group, and I could select a part of the group. So using the direct selection tool, I could click on any dot and press the delete key when I see that the dot is selected. Notice that when the dot is selected, let me zoom in a little bit, when the dot is fully selected, you will see the anchor points highlighted in blue. So I could press delete and that will delete the full dot. If I clicked only on one anchor point and I press delete, I would only delete that part of the path. If I press delete again, I'll delete the full path. And if I highlight the direct selection tool just over an anchor point, I can click and drag from the anchor point to modify how the path is drawn. You'll learn more about this in chapter three, but I think it's always fun to see where you're going and to learn another way to accomplish the same type of design task.